Take two. Hi, I'm Joe with Gramophone. We're here at Cedia 2023 at the Trinoff booth, and we've got some exciting things to talk about here because my old friend John Heron. How are you, John? It's been a, a while, Joe. <laughs> it has it's been a while. Good to see you again. It's great to see you. Yeah. Trinoff has come up with some answers to some problems that have been vexing all of us for a long time. So John, if you don't mind sharing with our Gramophone audience some of the things that you guys are doing here at Trinov. Well, a little perspective. Uh, Trinov was actually founded to learn more about complex three-dimensional sound fields and imaging and sound staging. The founders were all really interested, you know, is it possible to actually capture a complex three-dimensional sound field and then reproduce it in a different space with enough accuracy to really, you know, to fool you. The optimizer, our proprietary room correction technology, comes out of that. But the, the final frontier that has been bugging us all for decades is bass. Because when the when the wavelength of the sound approaches the dimensions of the room, things just bounce around and create a lot of mud. The, the, unlike the mids and the highs, which you know go away fairly quickly, the bass lingers for a long time. And it creates standing waves, which means that this seat doesn't sound like that seat. And it also creates a lot of mud in the room because you're hearing sound for maybe half a second that should have been there and then gone. You get boominess that isn't the problem of the gear. Yeah, it's, it's the room, yes. right? Um, it's, you know, like I say, the rooms do bad things to otherwise good speakers. It's yes. just true. Um, so we started a research program now almost seven years ago, pure research like you'd normally expect to see at a university, on the subject of, okay, let's extend this understanding of complex three-dimensional sound fields down to the low frequencies and learn things that nobody, has, nobody knew. So all these years later now, uh, we have a patent pending, several patent pending technologies. We're introducing the first generation of waveforming here. And the idea, well, somewhat simplified, is you create a nice flat, planar wave of bass that comes from the front wall, travels the length of the room without any reflections from side or ceiling or floor because it's flat. And then when it reaches the back wall, it gets actively absorbed by another array of subwoofers. The reality is actually a little bit more complicated than I made it sound just now, and hence all of the patented technology and so forth. But the benefit of doing this is mostly twofold. The first thing, you get rid of that mud that I was talking about earlier. So you wind up hearing a lot of dynamics and detail at low frequencies that otherwise you wouldn't know was even there. It gets lost in the mud. And the other thing is because we've gotten rid of the reflections and therefore we've gotten rid of the standing waves which are just the interference of the reflections with themselves and with the new sound, because we've gotten rid of the standing waves, the seat to seat variation is tiny. One of the demos we do in here, which admittedly is nerdy, Joe, but you would, you would like it's it. Okay. We do a sine wave sweep from 20 hertz to 100 hertz with waveforming off. And of course you hear, depending on where you are in the room, there are certain notes that just disappear, and then yes. another one. And then we turn waveforming on, play the same sweep, and it's the same volume all the way up. That's actually been one of the most popular demos. And like I say, it's very nerdy, but we're at Cedia. But it's cool. So, yeah. Um, but what you hear with movies and stuff is just a tremendous amount of dynamics and detail, like John Wick 3, the shotgun blast that we've all heard many, many times. You've never heard them not only sound like, but feel like a shotgun. If you've ever been next to a shotgun when it, it hopefully is not shot at you, but nearby, <laughs> you, you feel it in your chest cavity. Yes. And that's what we're, we're getting here is a degree of punch and detail at the same time that you just don't get otherwise. John, I can just confirm, having worked at a premium subwoofer company for seven years, a premium subwoofer can sound in any particular spot in the room at best like an average subwoofer. So the fact that you guys are doing this research, which is now showing up in product that you can ship, that really starts to overcome the problems of the room is yeah. just huge. And that leads me to my main question for you, is when will this research that now has borne fruit in product, when will it be available and shippable to... to it's sort of two answers. Okay. What we're demonstrating now, the first generation of waveforming, uh, the software is stable, everything. the main problem is that the user interface is terrible. Okay. It involves editing an XML sheet. Okay. Nobody wants to do that. Right. But by 
in theory, by November 1st, we'll have a nice graphic user interface to cover up all of the technical stuff. So we can uh, certainly say by the end of the year anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. But the other answer is that we've learned so much during the you know, preceding six and a half years. It'll take us somewhere between five and ten years to roll out everything that we've learned. Um, it, it, the, these guys, you know, six, six years ago we hired a couple of PhD level guys and, yes. and Arno Labrie was collaborating with them. That team has now grown to, I think, around ten people, I'm not sure exactly. And they've learned a lot of stuff that nobody knew before. But we can say that within the next probably 90 days or so, we'll see the first wave of the all first this fruits. Yeah, six you'll, or seven years. You'll be able to do what we're doing here. Which is great. And then there's future promise for the Trinoff product yeah, line. Yeah, there's more coming great. that I'm not supposed to talk about. <laughs> or you'd have to kill me. And I don't want that. I want to thank all of you in Gramophone Consumer Land. And I want to thank you, John, for spending some time on camera with you again, us. Joe. We love selling the most affordable products in the industry, but also the brands like Trinov who are truly pushing the envelope of what's possible to bring movies and music as accurately to you as we can possibly bring it. So, John, thanks again, and thanks to all of you folks for watching this video.